Hi everyone, so we have uh, another video in Ansible series and in this video we will talk about managing facts in Ansible. So what is Ansible facts? Ansible facts are a very simple, it's just a variable that are automatically uh, discovered by Ansible on a managed host uh, like the system information, the disk information, OS information, package information, IP network and many more. So why we need these uh, facts and why Ansible collecting these facts? So these are automatic collection by default if you are use if you didn't disable these facts by default. So Ansible will try to collect these facts by default if you didn't disable this exclusivity. So let's see how we can use the facts uh, in the demo. So by default Ansible facts will collect all the informations like um, IP address, interface, host name, CPU memory, kernel and OS information. Yeah, all those things. Actually, um, this is very useful in the playbook when you have something to execute based on the system information. Let's say you want to install a package only if the memory is, is, is enough or the required memory is there or something like you want to install the package only if the operating system is uh, some specific version like a RHEL 8 or CentOS 8 or Ubuntu something like that. Okay, we will do some demo and see how we can use the Ansible facts. So here we have, um, we will create a playbook, uh, quick one, uh, maybe we just try, uh, okay, I create a playbook, we have nothing here, name, Ansible fact, demo, host, of course I put notes, then become, I don't put now, uh, so I put like the task, first one, debug, show details okay debug then you want to print a message hello okay because it's it's nothing right it's not doing anything it will just execute the debug message uh, for both nodes okay we will execute this one and simple playbook site.yml what is happening here do we have this task inside no right because we just put only one task which is a debug task and it will print a message hello but where this task is coming from so this is at all uh, this is the one i told uh, ansible will automatically do this fact collection or gathering facts task even if you don't mention the okay so this is uh, doing by a module called a setup so if you want to try the uh, collection like uh, if you want to see how this uh, module is working you can simply do like ansible i'm not using the playbook then i use node one then i use the module called setup no arguments I, I, you can use some arguments like um it's only some specific uh color details but we are using just setup only and try see this is the ansible fact it's ansible is collecting from the system so if you check it's a lot of information is there so yeah see i cannot even scroll here okay so if you check this is ansible facts and you can see it was uh, ansible ip version 4 address version 6 address then architecture bios version date and time this all details is collecting from the managed host or the node and you can see the disk information uh, devices, SDA, distribution, you can see CentOS, then domain, nothing here, Ansible environment, what are the environment variables for the user, interface details, what else, host name, FQDN, the fully qualified domain name, kernel version, a lot, right, a lot of information. So. Uh, when you execute a task and if you are not exclusively telling Ansible to not collect, Ansible will execute it. Let's say I want to control this task collection. There is an option. Let's say I don't want to collect the task information because I am not going to use it. Then you can speed this uh, playbook execution actually. Gather facts. I put false. Now you try Ansible playbook. 
see how fast it is because uh, we told Ansible okay no need to collect the facts I am not using it so it will directly go to the debug task so if you enable this one okay you are, you are telling Ansible okay you can collect it so you are executing again now you can see the delay it's taking some time to collect the facts automatically okay so this is the facts now we will learn how we can use the Ansible facts in our playbook means what are the uh, useful resource from the Ansible facts Ansible collected facts so you can see already what are the facts uh, and we will try something inside the playbook so here okay you need to collect the facts anyway so instead of the hello I want to print the host name because I didn't tell anywhere to collect it it will collect automatically so we will try something like ansible underscore host name okay you try now good it's printing the host name now I want to print the uh, let's say ansible or, or the node IP address so I will use like ansible underscore default then underscore IPv4 then address if you are wondering how you can get the de details uh, okay okay if you are wondering how we can get the exact details of course you have these details here so if you directly call ansible all ip version for address you will get two so you can see let's say if you want to check the ansible date and time it will print all this information okay okay we will try this uh, in the next demo um, execute this one okay it's printing the ip address okay you can try anything but uh, we want to try something very simple one so we will try ansible distribution okay we try this one inside we can do it anywhere ansible underscore distribution okay good so it says send us ansible node now there are few important facts you can use like uh, uh, the node uh, distribution OS distribution based on that you can decide or maybe the memory as I mentioned earlier based on the memory you can decide whether or install the package or skip the package installation yeah like that so we mentioned that okay we can disable facts something like gather underscore facts false okay so it will not uh, gather the facts so what will happen now see it will not collect the facts of course it will show error because the ansible distribution or any of the variables are undefined so you, you cannot use that so remember that let's say i want to use gathering facts only if uh, based on some conditions still you can use it inside the playbook like i already mentioned you can use like Colored fat and you can use some module called setup simple right then execute again sorry so it's possible you can control the fact gathering at any time instead of the playbook start you can uh, collect the facts later and use it okay so that's all for the ansible facts gathering and how to use the facts inside your playbook and how you can disable or enable the facts gathering etc uh, we have uh, we'll have uh, one more video on the custom fact uh, very soon so please uh, see the playlist or the youtube channel to get or uh, get the latest videos that's all for this video see you next time with another video and uh, please subscribe to the channel for getting all the latest videos and uh, see you next time with another video thank you